It's free to do as it wants any old time. Not bad for an old bull boss, unless he's asking me to go back. Amazing! Things don't work. You gotta time them. Um, what else have I learned? There is a top and a bottom, which is, I wouldn't have thought so, but there is. And the housings have to go on the right way to the top and the bottom. This is actually the bottom facing up. Go bigger. Uh, and that's about all I know. Top and the bottom, because the oil galleries don't line up. Otherwise, it's amazing. Anyway, I just, what can I say? I'm like a stack record. It's all good as far as I'm concerned, but... Okay, some more useless information from me, and there's bucket loads of it. There's... the GM manual's pretty useless, I reckon. Like, it's very complicated and in-depth, and like, fucking volumes of it. But they leave out simple things. When you pull the plates off the blower, you got to... There's screws you've got to take out. It doesn't say anything of that shit in there. Um... It doesn't say there's an upper and a lower rotor. They only go back together a certain way. It doesn't have anything about timing. It says about, you know, shims and shit for timing gears, but it doesn't show you where the timing marks are on the, on the actual rotors. It's ridiculous. And it is, really, I think. I'm sure D Detroit will tell me I'm wrong. But if you look down here, this one here's got a... a the lower one at the front here has got a a thread inside below the keyway. That's to screw the drive on for the water pump for blessed Pete's sake. Uh, I don't know, come on Detroit, get your shit together. So I guess what I'm saying is like when you're trying to teach a kid at school. The moral of the story is, or teach an apprentice, or when I was being taught as an apprentice, or anything else, it's not ramming fucking volumes of information down someone's throat, it means diddly squat. All anyone wants to know really is the basics and how to get themselves into trouble and out of trouble. They don't care about flux capacitors or whatever the fuck it is. They just don't care. If you can create that spark of interest with someone, you're halfway there. These books, my god, look at them. Freaking pages, and that's one of them. Where's the other one? Must be still in the shed, in the shed over here. There it is. Look at this. Over here, in the shed, in the container, another book. Look at this shit, and another one. This just, it friggin' goes on forever. And it doesn't mention the basic stuff. It goes on with oh, high-tech crap that no one really cares about. Well, at least I don't anyway. We'll see. How sexy is that, hey? Unbelievable, Dale. That is magnificent. Look at it. Everything over this side. Oh. That's just horn bucket, that is. That would put a horn on a jellyfish. Well, it doesn't this jellyfish anyway. Magnificent. Got it all done. It's all back together. Okay. We're back together. We are lower drive shaft. Listen to it. Listen to the draw. Well, maybe not quite that good, but you know what I mean. That's amazing. I cannot believe how well we've come. Everything's working. I've checked the garden's working, the water pump's working, fuel pump's working, blower's working, blower drive shaft dragging the chain, and so is that injector. But everything's working. That's a big care. This is just... Well, I've impressed myself. I can tell you. <laughs> I'm just like the complete idiot that I am. But, that's pretty bloody good, Paul. You've never done it before. You still don't know what the hell you're doing, but you're trying. So, yeah, look at it. It's spinning. I'll have to bring that over close. Hang on a minute. Okay. It's spinning. It's free. 
this does thing. You've got to time these things. You put shims in and off the gears, off the top gear, out on this end. Not on that end, on this end, on the drive end. You change the shims behind the gear, and the more you put in behind, the times then you, you feel the gauges and you stick them in between the rotors, maybe. And you can feel how close it's going to be. And that's how you work out how it is meant to be. And two keyways on there, crazy. The GM Detroit book doesn't tell you any of it's two gear there on the end of the splines. They've got notch keys, like one spline missing. And they've both got to be pointing upwards when you time them. And then the gears slide on, and they fit into those notch keys. Then you've got to slide the sh enough shims in behind the top gear to get the spacings between the rotors right. So that's done. Everything is working. I've had it on the electric drill. Rev the bejeebas out of it. I can see the governor moves in and out. I, I attempted to make a short bit of video. Don't know whether that'll interest anyone. Don't even know if this does, but it's going. Well, it's spinning. And it blows a power of air like it would blow the spots off a Dalmatian. Or suck them off, depending on which end it stuck its face in. Anyway, enough bullshit for me. I've got to get to Townsville and get some parts one day. Um, and the only thing I've got to do with this, or I can do at the moment, is clean off the side of the motor because it's Detroit and it's not clean. Surprise, surprise.